Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ILO Hags, the Jinjo Village. So we remember the Jinjos from the first game. They were the little guys, there were five on each level and you collected them all, they gave us a Jiggy. And they helped us defeat Grunty at the end. This is where they all live. This is the Jinjo Village. Pretty nice. Also has some very, very catchy, happy, upbeat music playing here. There's also a beach over here. Or, I guess a cove is more appropriate. The Booger Bean, he's not all, he's the outcast. He's not allowed in the Jinjo Village. Alright, it doesn't seem to be anything over here, but it's still cool nonetheless. Alright. Well, we got a, a green house. So let's go in this one. This is probably where the green ninjas live. <laughs> They're all gone! Come and see me in my throne room, and I'll tell you what happened. Okay. This is my palace. Not bad, eh? Just come on in and see the Jinster. <laughs> okay. So this is the green Jinjo family house. There are no Jinjos in here. It's playing a very depressing song. But we saved the Jinjos in the first game. I even got 100%. I will be trying to get 100% in Banjo-Tooie, by the way. I have never gotten 100% in this game before. I have caught, gotten very close, but there is one Cheeto page that I was never able to get. And anybody who's played this game knows exactly which Cheeto page I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to get it. No promises, but I'm gonna try my best. This game is super fun, and I definitely want to 100% it. Alright. This is one of my silos! Open up some more to create a network of shortcut tunnels! Yeah, so these are effectively the cauldrons from the first game, but better because you can warp from any one of these to any one that you've unlocked instead of just being pairs. Alright, oh, this is this house has seen better days. What's going on here? This is an information signpost! Press B when next to one to read it. Okay, I know how to do that. In loving memory of the Grey Jinjo family, passed away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. Yeah, I told you this game was a lot darker. <laughs> An entire Jinjo family and their home was crushed by Grunty and her sisters. Yeah, this game don't pull any punches when it comes to murder. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. With bottles dying. Alright, well, Gina Lane's throne room is up here. <laughs> the Jinjo Kane's throne. Alright, let's go in. This is a swanky palace. Solid gold. King Gina Lane's throne room. What's up, bro? Yo, what's up? I'm King Jinoline, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. <laughs> Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. Wow, he just gives us a Jiggy flat out. Jiggies are back in this game, by the way. Still the main collectible. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mys mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure, 
as only the Crystal G can open the worlds that you must in enter. Can you show us the way, King Dinoline? It'll be my pleasure. Dang, this guy's cool. Why can't more kings be like him? <laughs> I have a secret passageway in Bottle's house that only I can use. That's kind of weird, King Gino, ain't? <laughs> Why do you have a shortcut in Bottle's house? Why can you push a button and open a gate in Bottle's house? <laughs> Especially when you're rivals with him. Uh, don't ask, man. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. <laughs> Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Genoine's pet was also the pet of Ruby in the first game. Meanwhile... Ooh, now that is a futuristic looking castle. <laughs> that is a very futuristic looking castle. Apparently K. Roll's Blastomatic got sold on eBay. Come on, sisters! Time I lack! What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying, your rhyming is! So stop it, or we will not tell! Ow! If I must! B.O.B. this is! Big O Blaster built by Minji and me! Life force from ground, plants, and creatures, it can suck. Stored in big tank life forces. Shower Grunty will take when tank is full. Then new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are, so plenty will be needed. So start blasting! Patient you must be, target you first must pick. Hmm, that cursed Genoline has just given the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Auto targeting BOB has. Button you only have to press. No, that Gino ain't his cool. <laughs> Warmed up BOB is. So begin will the firing sequence. To the opposite of the blastomatic, it sucks stuff up. Target B.O.B. has hit! Steal life force, he will! Unlucky B.O.B. was! Bear, we just missed! Never mind him! What about that traitor, Genoline? Grunty has a grudge against the Jinjos for killing her in the first game. Oh, jeez! He's just a zombie now! Oh, that is disconcerting. What the heck? Successful B.O.B. was. Jinling's life force we have. Right then, girls. Let's blast the whole island. This we can do, but big charge up B.O.B. will need. Hours it will take, and Revenge Bear will seek. Pa! I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jinoline are gone. He'll never get to us in time. Yeah, Grunty means serious business this time. She's just killing all of the main characters. Also, one of the few criticisms I have with this game. Grunty doesn't talk in rhymes now. That's a shame. Well, uh, 
Jane Elaine. Uh, what just happened? You okay, bro? The zombified Frona. Ugh. Jane Elaine. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you look a bit unwell. You okay there, bro? Ah! He's trying to kill me! <laughs> this poor pet is hiding in the cushions. At least he's still alive. Old King Cole? Oh yeah, he's the right one. Okay, um, yeah, Old King Cole. He was a merry old soul. I'm getting out of here! That is creepy. Okay, let's, let's, let's leave Genoline to his walking. He's apparently still alive, he's just a zombie, which is weird, but I won't question it. We got the yellow house and the white house over here. We got this ledge up here that we cannot grab, we cannot jump to. We can't even high jump to it. Great! Alright. So that's where we started. Here's the throne room. Up here we've got... I believe that's the brown house, the blue house, and the purple house. So we've got more colors of Jinjos in this game compared to the first one. Whee! Alright, well, his last action after giving us the Jiggy was opening up a secret door in Bottle's house, which he apparently has. All right, let's go to Bottle's house. I mean, he's not gonna use it anymore. Actually, this looks very similar to Banjo's house. It's just made of dirt. <laughs> Anybody home? Bottle's house. <laughs> Playing the classic Italian music. It's super catchy though. Oh, um, it's a photo of Bottle's. Uh, who are you? Hello there, Banjo! How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Uh-oh. Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghosty Boy. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. B. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is real serious. We know her husband is dead and we're like not telling her. <laughs> well, Kazooie wants to tell him Banjo's like, hey, let's keep it a secret. This is, this is real serious. Where has my bottles got to? I need him back here to deal with that monster in our bedroom. We've got to tell her, Banjo. Not now, Kazooie. I'm kind of with Kazooie on this one. We, we should tell her ASAP, honestly. I'd want to know. All right, well. Ooh, is their bed. It's made of nice moss. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder which side uh, Mrs. B sleeps under. We got the nightstand. Oh, hi! There's a booger bean in here. How did he get in here? Don't worry, we murdered him. <laughs> no need to worry, Mrs. B. We murdered that booger bean. Everything's under control. Everything's under control. Oh, I didn't mean to peck you there. I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay. Same old, same old. Hmm. Your house deepens. If we go this way... Ooh, it's a little, it's Bottles' kid who has a Donkey Kong plush, aww. There's also a poster for Jet Force Gemini on the wall. Cool. Hello, Banjo. Hi, Goggles. Since you and Daddy are such good friends, I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them, by any chance? Oh yes, I believe they're called the Amazo Gaze glasses. How do they work? Well, when in Banjo's eyes view, use left C and right C to zoom in and out. Not bad. Yes, yeah, so now if we go first person mode, you 
can zoom in and zoom out, which will be great for finding potential thumbnails. Oh, that DK plush is real cool. No, I don't. I don't want to peck everybody. I want to talk? How are the Amazo Gaze glasses working out? I'm sure my daddy will be able to fix them if they are broken. But can anyone fix daddy? Why does he need fixing? Uh, Kazooie means uh, your mom is just fixing up his dinner. Oh, that's all right then. I was afraid you meant he'd been blasted by a fatal spell or something. Whoop! <laughs> Jeez, this game is darker humor than I remember. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> really good platformer though. Even if it has a little bit of a slow start. It has a slower start compared to the first Banjo, but once you get into the first world, it picks up hey. massively. Hey, bro. Hey there, Banjo. Hi, Specky. Man, my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Genoline has organized it especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. That's not a good voice for him. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes. <laughs> Why would we need substitutes? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was, or is. And did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? <laughs> you might find it useful. We already know that. King Dana Lane is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially for us. Nice! Wait, King Genoline has the remote control for opening your secret? Wait, I, I have so many questions right now. Genoline, how did you install the... <laughs> Genoine, he seems like a cool cane, but like this, this, he might be, he might be setting everything under surveillance, and uh, yeah, that's not okay. Hey. All right, let's get out of Bottle's house. And welcome to the Overworld, the Isle of Hags, Wooded Hollow, and this has one of my favorite Overworld themes ever. So good. I am Jiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Alright then, Jiggy Wiggy. Alright. The digger just plowed through the wall over there. Oh, hey, it's another silo. So now we can warp from the Wooded Hollow to the Jinjo Village anytime we want. We don't have to cut through Bottle's house anymore. That's good. If we go down here. Um. Now that's the second biggest egg I've ever seen. What's inside it? It's Heggy's Egg Shed. Clock! Heggy the Hen! Clock! Find special egg! Clock! Got no special eggs yet! Afraid not. Clock! Heggy got one! Clock! But can't reach it! Clock! So you must hatch! Oh, okay. Okay, that is literally like a 30 degree incline. We should easily be able to climb up it normally. But no, we need Talon Trot. Hey, it's the yellow egg from Stop and Swap from the first game! Okay. Blam! Nope, that didn't work. Yeah, we can't hatch that egg yet. These are split up pads! Um, all I see is a giant egg shell. But yeah, that's referring to a new feature in this game. We'll get more into that later. We can't do anything in Heggy's egg shed, but I wanted to show it off. Wow. Look at that palace made out of golden jiggies. That's great. And that's an that's a ancient ruins. That's actually the first world we're going to, by the way. Take that booger bean. Down this way. Oh man, this music is just perfect for like an overcast forest. For this way, this is actually the top of that ledge in the Jinjo, in the Jinjo village. That we couldn't jump up before. So 
this is technically the way you're supposed to get to the Wooded Hollow, but we can't get there yet, so we had to take the shortcut for Bottle's House. But, like, lore-wise, this is the normal way to the Wooded Hollow, where we go through the forest and end up here, which is pretty cool. All right. Looks like the digger went for this tunnel. And at the bottom here, it's a Jinjo! Yippee! You saved me! I'm off for home now! I owe Hags, the Jinjo village. Thanks for rescuing me! I live in this house with the rest of my fa similar colored family! Rescue us all and we'll give you the family heirloom! So Jinjos are a little bit different in this. In the first game, Jinjos only appeared within individual worlds and there were five, one of each color. You collect them all, you get a Jiggy for that world. They work differently in this. There are nine different colored Jinjo families in this, each one with more Jinjos than the last, so the white Jinjo family only has one. There's also the brown Jinjo family, the orange Jinjo family, the green Jinjo family, the red family, the blue family, the purple family, the yellow family, and then the black family. I don't know if that's the ascending order or not. But each, like, one of them will have one, one of them has two, one of them has three, etc., until you get up to nine. Black has the highest amount at nine. Once you collect every Jinjo from a specific color family, they will give you a Jiggy for the ILO Hags, essentially. So there are 10 Jiggies in the ILO Hags, one that Jinoin gives us, and then the rest are all from completing the Jinjo families. Which color Jinjos spawn in which places in the game uh, changes from save file to save file. It's ra basically randomly selected at the beginning of starting a new file what color Jinjos are going to appear in each spot. So the Jinjo covers will be different in basically every game that you play, which is really cool. Although there will still be five Jinjos in every world, with I think the exception being Spiral Mountain, which I think only has one or two. But every other world should have five, which is really good. Alright. Well, this is the. We are at the steps of an interesting door that we cannot get through. I'm afraid we will have to go to this temple. <laughs> this is the last place we have to explore. Hey, bro! I am a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I work the door of his sacred temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun! <laughs> Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. And what might these images look like? Jigsaw pieces, also known as Jiggies. That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. It seems you have collected enough Jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no cameras permitted, and only food purchased at McJiggies can be eaten within. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I freaking love this game and its humor. It's so good. Thank you, Mr. Doorman, for letting us have an audience with Jiggy Wiggy because we picked up an image that is in his form. Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Greetings, O oh Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Okay, bro. This is a nice church you have. <laughs> oh man, I love the jig. I love the jigsaw puzzle-shaped uh, sunroof. That's fantastic. It also matches the crystal jiggy on the ground here. <laughs> what the heck, Jiggy? We so weird. He has like a jigsaw head, but like human arms. Don't question it. He's a cool character. There are also all these signs around here. When fortune smiles, here will be written the Jiggy Secrets. How cryptic! So let's go over to this golden monolith. Press B when near the monolith to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 1. Um, okay! <laughs> yes, let's do that. <laughs> Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge. Complete the image before you 
if you wish to travel to where it shows. Use the control stick to guide your hand. Press A to pick up a piece. Once a piece is held, it can be placed down by pressing A or returned to the outside by pressing B. You only have a limited time to prove yourself. May Jiggy Wiggy grant you luck. I don't need luck. So this is basically Bottle's picture puzzle from the first game, except way easier because only a couple of pieces are missing. And we don't even have to rotate them. So yeah, very, very simple. If you've played Bottle's picture puzzle from the first game, you should have no trouble with any of these. The first one isn't particularly simple. There's like five pieces missing. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge one, so now the Great One will show you the way. This is good music, by the way. Banjo-Tooie has a kickin' soundtrack, just like the first game. Grant Kirkhope really outdid himself in this one. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. This is where the sunroof comes in. <laughs> the beam gets fired from the Crystal Jiggy out into the roof. Wooded Hollow. This door we couldn't pass. We'll soon make quick work of that. It has opened. You do not have enough Jiggies to attempt challenge number two. Come back later when you do. So this is basically the new way of opening worlds in the game. Instead of having to, f uh, instead of in Grunty's Lair where you walk around, find the picture, put the Jiggies in it, and it opens up a gate in a different room. Here we always will go back to Jiggy Wiggy once we get enough Jiggies, complete the challenge, and then he'll open the door that is in the hub world. Honestly, I do prefer the first game's method, where you could, like, hide to the picture puzzle, and it, it made for some really cool exploring in Grunty's Lair, which I do really like. But the Isle of Hags is also a very good overworld in its own regard. It's, I think, a bit more atmospheric, although I do think Grunty's Lair is a better overworld. It's more fun to explore Grunty's Lair than it is to explore Isle of Hags. But, that being said that, I still really like Isle of Hags. We need four Jiggies if we want to attempt the second challenge. Way to seal the door behind me, bro. I already met Jiggy Wiggy once. Can't I do it again? No. By the way, did you get the McJiggy Happy Meal? Okay, I'm out. I don't have any money. Rabbit tie wrap that stupid pterodactyl down. I don't even know if that's what it's called. All right. At this point, that was a long introduction episode, but I didn't want it to just be all cutscenes and not getting anywhere. I want to be able to enter the first world in episode two, which will happen next time because we are out of time for today. In the next episode, we enter world number one, which is a very unique first world. It's not the typical, oh, it's just the grassy world. No, this is a first world that's pretty different from most first worlds, which is something that I appreciate. Banjo-Tooie does a pretty good job of having some really unique worlds, which you don't get enough of in 3D platformer games. Anyhow, that's it for this episode of Banjo-Tooie. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you tune in for this series. It's going to be a ton of fun. I freaking love this game. I'm going to do my best to share my, the joy that I feel in this game with you all as I play through it, as well as giving you some tips and tricks on how to get through the game easily. And again, we'll be trying to collect everything, so I will hope to leave no stone unturned, and I hope to just show off how much this game is amazing and how much I adore it. It's so well done, and I hope you guys tune in for this ride for the whole way. It would be a lot of fun if you did. So... Hope you tune in for next episode. Look forward to it next time on Colorful Artie's channel. Until we meet, meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.